So I bet you're wondering, what the hell was that? What the hell were you just doing, and why was there a tube in your mouth? Well, it is because I created a portable talk box for about $50, but you could probably do it for cheaper. And I'm going to show you how. It's very easy, and it's awesome. So when I first started actually researching what a talk box was, I started watching some old YouTube videos of Peter Frampton. Do you feel like we do? And also some older videos of Roger and Zap. More about, much more about. And I noticed that their talk boxes were actually hooked up to their microphone, and they would uh, the tube would run up their microphone stand, and, and actually it was attached to their microphone, and it would go into their mouth. So pretty much all the sound that's coming out of your instrument is playing is coming through that tube, going all the way through the tube and in through your mouth and then you're changing the sound of your instrument with your cheeks and your tongue and your throat and that's how you can actually pronounce words and phrases with your with your instrument the only thing you're gonna need to actually make this talk box is a plunger a mini pocket guitar amplifier and some wires so what a talk box actually is is essentially just a speaker hooked up to an amplifier which the speaker aims right at a tube hold on here The speaker is actually taped to the top of this plunger, all the way on top. It's a small speaker that comes out of this little mini Marshall pocket amp. One of these small pocket amps will probably only run you about forty to fifty dollars, and the best part is that it's run by a battery, so your talk box will actually be portable. And uh, I know Fender makes one, and Marshall makes one, and you could probably get them online or at any uh, any music store or guitar store. But uh, the speaker's aiming right on top. So it's very close to the top of this hole, and I just cut out, cut this hole out with an X-Acto knife. Depending on what plunger you actually buy, you're probably also going to have to cut out uh, along the bottom of the plunger so you can fit the speaker in there, and you could also put some insulation in there. And on the bottom, I have, I tape the, I actually tape the speaker to the top, and then I put a layer of foam, and then I put some cardboard. Then I put another layer of foam and then some more cardboard because you don't want any sound coming out of this other than the top here. If any other sound comes out, it's not going to work as good as it should. With the pocket amp, all you actually have to do is take out the four main uh, screws on the back and the back will actually come off giving you access to the main speaker inside of there. There's actually one, only one speaker. And then once you take the screws off of the speaker, it comes off very easily. But you'll notice that the wires are not going to be long enough to make it to, the, to, to your plunger. So you have to strip the, the other wires and then attach two longer wires. It's not, it's not very hard at all. And you can either solder the wires or just strip them long enough where you can wrap them around very tightly where it won't come off. So once you're actually done getting that speaker out of there and making your wires long enough, all you have to do is put the back right back on and you're going to screw the screws back in and make sure not to make sure not to screw the bottom screws in way too tight because as you see the cables are uh, jutting out of there so you don't want to you don't want to snip the cables off cuz you're putting it on too tight but you want it tight enough where if you pull it they're not going to come out and they're not going to they're not going to bother your your connections inside either and once your speaker's out put it into the plunger add your add your foam add your cardboard or whatever type of insulation you really want to add and uh, then you're good. And then you don't have to buy a speaker or an amplifier and you have your own homemade talk box. And all you have to do is attach, get a, uh, get some PVC tubing that'll fit inside here. I don't remember the length. It's probably maybe half an inch or e even less, maybe a quarter inch tubing. And I actually wrap some uh, hockey tape around here to make sure it's a good seal so no sound comes out. You attach it into here now once you've done all that, all you have to actually do is plug in your guitar or your keyboard. And uh, on these little Marshall amps, the uh, it has it has regular, a clean, and overdrive. And if you're using a keyboard, I wouldn't recommend putting it onto overdrive. But if you want to get some uh, some gain on your guitar, if you're using your guitar, switch it onto overdrive because it's louder. Also, you get the most the most effect out of your uh, talk box. So to make sure no sound actually came out, I put the whole the whole talk box that I made 
right here. It looks just like this. Very simple. Inside this shoebox. And I take the top, I just poke the hole in the top, stick your tubing in, like so, and attach it, and shove it in there. And then you close the box. You don't want to have the box close to you, because if you hear the noise coming out of the box, it's just going to, I mean, it's just not going to work. You want to only hear the noise that's coming out of your mouth. That's how the talk box works. All right, so once you got your tube in there, all you got to do is plug in your instrument. You're going to turn it on. You're going to close the box. And the box is also going to serve as something to hold your talk box in, you know? It's a lot easier. I hope this uh, this video has inspired you guys to go out and try and make your own cheap talk box. Um, I know I was inspired once I saw any talk box video on YouTube, so I'm sure somebody's going to want to make something. If you have any more questions or comments, I know I didn't actually open the amp and show you guys how I how I dissected that thing, but it's really not hard. Uh, I just didn't want to mess with it because I made it about a year ago. Um, so just thanks for watching, and if you have any comments, you can email me or send me a message or just put it in the comments. And uh, thank you.